Hi, welcome to another video. Stable Diffusion has now released the open weights of Stable Diffusion 3. I say open weights because it was actually available to use if you use their APIs, and I had done a video on it. But now, they have also released the open weights for the model. This means we can now use it locally. It's pretty cool, although there's a catch in this release. Let me first tell you more about it. This new model is called Stable Diffusion 3 Medium. I don't know why there's medium in the name, because they say that Stable Diffusion 3 Medium is Stability AI's most advanced text-to-image open model yet, comprising 2 billion parameters. They say that the smaller size of this model makes it perfect for running on consumer PCs and laptops, as well as enterprise-tier GPUs. It is suitably sized to become the next standard in text-to-image models. So, this is a relatively smaller model. You can run it on simple GPUs and laptops, which is really cool. But, there's also an ultra and large model that they have developed and is available on their API platforms, but they haven't released it openly. I don't know why they are doing this. I think they are moving towards a closed source nature. After such a wait, they have just released a small model. There are more things to unfold that make my claim more substantial, which I will talk about later in the video. Anyway, one of the greatest qualities of this model is that it can generate images with text. Yes, if you know AI images, then you'll know that they are surely bad at two things. Fingers and text. AI models cannot write text in images. But now, this model can write perfect text in images, which is obviously pretty cool. They also say that the model is more photorealistic. It addresses the hands and other pitfalls of AI image generation. It adheres to the prompt more. And it's resource efficient because it's smaller. The fine tuning of these models is now better easier, and outputs high-quality images. Pretty cool. Another thing I like is that you don't need to write a ton of prompts to generate an image. It looks like the prompts can now be simple, and it can generate some realistic images, which is really cool. Now, they have also collaborated with NVIDIA and AMD for better inference and stuff like that. Now, I want to talk about the license. Here's where it seems that things are falling apart. The model is only available under their new stability non-commercial research community license. You know you're in for a wild ride when a company names their license like this. Anyway, this means that you can now only use it for non-commercial or personal purposes. You cannot use it for any kind of commercial thing. If you're a small creator, then you can take their new creator license, while if you're a big corporate, you can contact them and strike a deal. Now, this is very concerning. Stable diffusion models used to be open source and commercially usable, but now they are going down this route. This is also the reason they don't write open source anywhere on the page, and instead say open generative and other such terms. This is a big thing because you cannot use any images generated with stable diffusion to make any money, which many people do. Most people make images to share them on social media and make money with them. They don't just use them to keep in their albums, right? Another thing that makes me more sad is that if you go to this model's Hugging Face page, you'll be asked to share your contact details to get the model downloaded which is just absurd in my opinion. Anyway, you can download it by providing 100% genuine data. There's a hugging face link to try it out without downloading. So, let's use that and check it out. First, let's ask it to generate a man standing on a hill. Okay, let's send it. Okay, we have the image now. It's pretty fast. Although... The image is a little low in quality, but that's just my prompting, I guess. Now, 
Let's try the next prompt with text to see if it can make text correctly. Okay, so we have the image now. Looks fine. The banner in the background is also fine, but it has some artifacts which I don't like. Another thing I created was a graffiti art because they advertise graffiti art a lot for its text. So, I created a graffiti art here, and it actually looks pretty good. I also created some other ones like this and this. They are pretty cool. Another thing that they advertise a lot is neon signs. So, I created that as well, and it also looks pretty cool. Sometimes it adds some more words to the image, which is a little bad, but it's still pretty cool. Another thing that I really like about this is that it knows characters much better. I have struggled a lot in creating some characters like Batman, Iron Man, or any other such characters. But now, it creates them pretty well. I created a Batman character here, standing near a sign saying, Stable Diffusion 3. And as you can see, it does that pretty well. I also tried creating the same with Iron Man. Then, I created the image that is the ultimate test for an image diffusion model, and that's Will Smith eating noodles. And I think it can create some good photos of Will Smith eating noodles. In my generation, the fingers are a little wonky, and Will Smith is taking a lot of noodles at once. But I think that if you prompt it much better, then you'll be able to get some great results with it. So, the model is fine and cool, but the model itself is non-commercial. So, I won't be using it because I mostly use these things to put in videos and other stuff. That wouldn't come under their non-commercial use. And actually, I still don't understand how people will use it for non-commercial uses. There are some minor cases, like personal presentations and NGOs. But other people like me generally use it to share images on social media and make money from it. Fine-tuned models from this model will also not be usable for commercial purposes, which is also sad to see. This just seems like something they had to do to not face backlash, rather than really making something for a wide range of people. So, that's pretty sad. I'll stick to Stable Diffusion XL instead. I think it's now time for more open source diffusion models to rise up. I don't think Stable Diffusion is going to hold on for long. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below this video. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.